Um, I'm going to share the memory verse of the week. Amen. 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 Um, and then this memory verse of the week, he says that don't mix up things. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the title. And then we take it from uh, 1 Corinthians 10, uh, verse 21 to 23. Amen. Amen. And I read. And uh, you cannot drink. Okay, you cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons too. You cannot have a part in both the Lord's table and of demons. Are we trying to arouse the Lord's jealousy? Are we stronger than He? Hallelujah. Amen. And the last one say. I have the right to do anything you say, but not everything is beneficial. I have the right to do anything, but not everything is constructive. Hallelujah. Amen. So what I'm just saying, I want to say to you to today, is that um, don't mix up the things of the Lord and to mix up the things of the world. Last, last time here, we had a, we, we shared, we were partakers of the Lord's table. Hallelujah. When you partake Lord's table, you cannot go and partake of what? The demons. The demons again. Mm. again. Hallelujah. Mm. Because you know what? The Bible is saying very clear. Do not arouse the God's jealousy. God becomes so jealous. Because when you are partaking, you are worshipping. Hallelujah. So you cannot worship God and worship the devil. Amen. Mm. Amen. You know, I want to say like this because many people, they are mixing up the things of God and the other things. They want the things of God and they want the things of the devil. Today they are here, tomorrow they are somewhere. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You have to choose one thing. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You need, if you want to be with God, stay with God. If you want to be with the devil, stay with the devil. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says very clear in the book of Revelation. They say, God doesn't want the lukewarm people. Mm. He said, whether you be hot or you be cold. cold. But if you be lukewarm, he will say, he will spit you out of his mouth. Hallelujah. Mm. Don't de deceive yourself. Why? Don't deceive yourself that you, you do things of God. Yeah? You know, because it's a Lord's table, I want to go. And there's some other people, they are like this. They want things of God. They want to come here or they want to come to the churches. I, I'm talking to you, even those who are watching us. They, they want to go to church just, to, just for people to pray to get something. And then after that, they want to live the, the other life. You know? Who are you thinking, thinking you are cheating? Hallelujah. Amen. You cannot mix up. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Because if you want the Lord, you want the things of the Lord, take God and all the things. God, the whole. Hallelujah. Otherwise, you lose one. I'm telling you, you will lose one. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. So uh, other people, they, they just uh, they deceive themselves. They think maybe if uh, I can have one verse, I can post on Facebook, I can post somewhere, and then when I post, then it will justify everything others. You see? And then I can be there. And then when there is uh, the things of this world, yeah, maybe the parties and so you see them in the party there. You see them. After, you know, coming from, I mean, having the supper, Jesus' supper, the Lord's table, and then you find in the, there, also in the, in the party. I, I don't say to go in the party is a, is a, I mean, is a sin. Yeah, but what you are doing there is a sin. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. What you are doing there, you are doing things of the world. The other people, they are drinking, you know, and you, you are a Christian. <laughs> Yeah? And then they are, do, they are dancing or whatever the, the, the dance they are doing and you are, you are there also. And then you say, I have no problem. After that, I will go and take uh, the bread and then everything will be okay. It's not like that. Hallelujah. Amen. You have to choose one side. You have to choose. If you want to be with God, go with God. And, and all those things, the only thing you are, you are doing, you know, you can do it in a secret, but I'm telling God sees you. Hallelujah. Amen. 
You cannot lie to yourself, you cannot lie to God, you cannot lie to the devil. He will go and accuse you before the Lord. He say, look, this is your son. Look, this is your daughter doing this and that. So don't mix up the things. Hallelujah. Amen. There's some things we can do. You say, yeah, I can do everything like this Paul was saying. I can do everything. But he, he, the Bible says, not everything you are doing is what is beneficial. Maybe you, you can say, yeah, I want to do this and that. I want to look good. I want to do this. And the other people, they are doing that too. They are doing whatever. Hallelujah. Amen. And whatever you are doing, you know, you know what you are doing. But I'm telling you, yes, you can do. You can feel good about it, but it's not beneficial. Hallelujah. And then you can do everything. It's not constructive. It's not constructing your, your, your soul at all, but it takes you to hell. Hallelujah. Slowly. There's some other things, what you are doing, what you are using, I'm telling you, belongs to the devil. It has been already offered to the devil. And then you take it and put it in there. Hallelujah. When it, they, they, they've done it, have you seen it that uh, in, in India? The sacrifice of, of hair. That's what they do. That is full what service offering they are doing. And then when they are doing, and then the Christians they should take it, put in the head, and then say, I worship you. You already partake of it. Don't arouse God's anger. Hallelujah. I'm saying it for your benefit. Hallelujah. It can be good for you. I don't say anything, but what I say, what is God has given me to say to you and to remind you today. Amen. Don't mix up things. things. Straight, st stay straight with God. Hallelujah. Amen. Things that you are, can do things very, they be very nice. You can do this and that. Very nice. Search yourself. Everything what you are doing, even they can be very normal things. Very normal things. But look, if the glory of God is there, where is that thing lead you to? Is that thing what you are doing, is it arousing God's anger or God's jealousy? Hallelujah. Is it constructive? Is it beneficial? And the one, what Paul was saying, beneficial for your soul. Is it, construct, is it constructing your soul, your heart? Are you constructed by it? Or you're constructing to please the world? Or to please yourself? And then, because the Bible says, we, 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 I, I, I remember I preached here that to live for, for Jesus, to live for Christ. Now, because you, when you say you are dedicated yourself to Christ, it means you are not living by yourself or for yourself. You are living for Christ. The things on you, me, 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 is gone. Now you ask him, what I'm doing is all for you, if you are dedicated to God. So, God bless you. I want to end up there. Hallelujah.